Hello, and welcome to week two of the Storybook Test Boot Camp. I'm Kyle. Uh, as a reminder, the schedule for the boot camp puts us, um, well, last week we talked about um, kind of an overview of Storybook Test and how to test UIs with Storybook. That came with this document here. And then this week, uh, we're gonna just cover kind of a portion of that document and I'll demo some things um, just to make sure we have the idea of render tests, which is kind of the, the core building block of testing in Storybook, and then some general testing concepts. So if we look at this document here, um, once you get started with it, your Storybook will look something like this where you now have uh, what we call the testing module in your sidebar. We'll go into a lot more detail about that in a second. Once you run test, you'll see status indicators in, this, in the sidebar next to all of your stories, and those roll up to be um, at the component or the folder level as well. And then you'll have an add-on component test that shows a panel in the add-on panels area there. We're going to demo all of this shortly. So. I've already installed add-on test um, in this project, and so that's why in my Storybook's main config file, I've got this line for the experimental add-on test. And then I've spun up a Storybook here, and so I've got it running. Here's the testing module here. I haven't actually enabled anything yet, so let me enable accessibility. I'll keep coverage off for now. And then I'm just going to run these tests right here. And so this is um, transforming all of these stories into tests so that vTests can run them. And then it's doing that all in the background in a headless browser and then reporting the results. And it's already done. And so you'll see my component tests, all those passed, and I have some accessibility issues to work through. Uh, we'll get through, we'll tackle those in a little bit. Um, but for now, the component tests, I just want to show you um, what that looks like. So this calendar widget here, if you go to the default story, that is really just that in terms of code. And so I've, I've got my stories file where I've set up some metadata where I tell it which component I'm interested in and then if there are any default args that I want to set up for all the stories. And then finally, the stories themselves. And so I have a default where I don't do anything with the args. It, it's just rendering kind of the default state of this calendar component. And the fact that that rendered without errors is its own kind of test that we like to call a render test or some people might call it a smoke test. And just that basic act of rendering a component and making sure it doesn't error or um, have issues and even doing it in Storybook where you can then visit it and visually verify that nothing is wonky or incorrect, that's a render test and it alone has value. And so we just want to start with that basic building block because everything else will build on top of it. For example, skipping ahead a little bit, but this is an example of a component test where we're simulating some behavior and making some assertions, but that's built on top of rendering the component first. So um, next I wanna show you the watch mode within Storybook Test. So I'm gonna turn on watch mode here with this icon there. You can see it turns blue to let me know that it's on. And now I'm just gonna change the test so that I know it's gonna error. And as soon as I save, it'll rerun only the things affected by that change. And so now I have a failing component test. I can see that here. And it was trying to find a grid cell. It was 11, I made it 41 and I can't find it. And so I'm gonna change it back to 11 and save again. And you'll see that now it passes. And all my component tests are passing. So that's all for today. It's just a quick, easy one. Um, just some building blocks in terms of a render test in Storybook and how Storybook test surfaces that for you. And then especially watch mode, which is very, very helpful as you're developing and testing in tandem. Thanks, hope you all have a great week.